for I didn't get my car license until I was 27. So that's a lot of years where I was always waiting for someone. Hours. Always waiting for someone to pick me up and take me somewhere. And I should have got my license, but I was too scared. So ever since I've got my license, basically that hasn't been my reality. Waiting for people, I don't do it. But I do understand, like when I was with um, my last partner, he was from an Arab culture. And uh, they they don't go by times. Like if they say four o'clock, they really mean whenever, you know, 10, 11, it doesn't really matter. I think it took three years to actually get him to let me know if he's going to be late for dinner. It was just just not on their radar. It was just horrible because you'd cook dinner for two. You'd say, I'm 10 minutes away. You, you're hurrying to try and get the, the meal ready on the table so that you can sit down and have dinner and an hour later, two hours later, three hours later and when you call, oh yeah I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm, I'll be there in a second, like it's, they're lying, they're, that lie that they do automatically, it's part of their culture, it's part of that and I hate it. If, you, if I know I've got to meet someone at four o'clock and I'm with somebody at two thirty, I'm thinking of that four o'clock as well, like I'm living in the moment but I'm also conscious of the four o'clock thing so I know that if it gets on to where I think oh this is going to go probably going to go longer I might send them a message that's a big long ramble <laughs> I'll edit out a lot of that because that was just a big long ramble about expectations and time